Good day everyone, welcome to my channel, Tipo Maseko International. Yes, it's a beautiful day out there. And if it is your first time here, hit, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel not to miss content. So for those who are, um, who's the first time here, right? So this channel is all about personal development, you know, mental health, financial fitness, and just becoming a better version of yourself, right? So today's topic, we're going to talk about um, BS. Right? Um, yes, our BS, right? Um, it's not what you're thinking. Don't swear at me, right? Um, it's actually belief systems, okay? Our belief systems, okay? We all have different beliefs. And basically, some beliefs we taught ourselves, yes. Some beliefs come from our experience in life, yes. But most beliefs come from growing up, right? Whoever raised us, think about it. Whatever belief that you have right now, Right? Whether it's about money, whether it's about your health, whether it's about how you look, whatever belief that you have right now, somebody installed it in you. So it's in your subconscious mind. So you're living your life with this belief, you're going around with this belief, and it's actually controlling your life, right? If you believe, for instance, that you're worth um, 20 rand a month, for instance, you will never make more because you can't rise above your belief. Just, just how it is. <laughs> you, you can't do that, right? If once you believe that you are a millionaire, even though you don't have that million yet, rest assured, your belief will catch up with you. You will become a millionaire eventually, right? So today we're going to talk about beliefs and I want to talk about 10 limiting beliefs that we all have, right? Um, you can write it down when you want to. Um, you can leave your comments um, on this video. You know, let me know the kind of beliefs that you have or the beliefs that you had and you had to change it for whatever reason because it didn't work for you, right? You had to do something different. You had to change it. It was just controlling your life. It was just keeping you poor. It was not giving you any growth and you had no, like you didn't step forward in life, you know? Um, let me know about your beliefs and tell me what is it, right? Um, so the first limiting belief that um, human beings have or we have is that I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not, you know, something that has to do. I'm not enough, right? Which is wrong. Think about it this way. If you think you're not um, good enough, you're not going to take any step forward. You're not going to make any changes. You're not, you're not going to become a better person. So change that belief. Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, say, I am good enough. Instead of saying, I'm not pretty enough, say, I am pretty enough, right? And let me know, out of all those 10 beliefs, let me know which one you have, which one you're currently living with, and which one is holding you back, and you have to change it. You just have to. It's a matter of either you don't change it or you don't move on. Either you don't change it or you don't grow up, right? So let me know in the comment section. And another one is um, life is hard. It's another belief that we have, right? The second belief, the limiting belief that we have is that life is hard. So some people live their life growing up and for them, life is meant to be hard. So what do they do? They attract hard situations. They attract hardship, you know? They never get to enjoy life. You know, um, they, they kind of like restrict themselves to becoming better people, right? Because for them, life is just hard. Life is not smooth. Life is not meant to be enjoyed. Life is not some big gift, you know? And think about it. When a kid is born or when a child grows up, they don't know about this. A child is never taught. Never, like a child doesn't grow up thinking, oh my God, I'm going to this life. Oh my word, it's so hard, you know? First of all, my mom had to push me. That's the first thing. It's very hard. You know, I came out, I cried. It's very hard. You know, no, it's something that we were taught. It's something that we experienced. We have seen, you know, thinking that this life thing is very hard, right? Which is incorrect. It's not right. Life is a beautiful thing. Life is meant to be enjoyed. You know, at the end of the day, um, even when it rains, when it stops, there's sunshine flowers bloom, you become better, you smile, life is a beautiful thing, right? And if you still have lungs, you know, I mean, if you still have breath in your lungs, sorry about that, if you still have breath in your lungs, trust and believe, life, it's still worth it. Life, it's still worth living. If the sun doesn't shine on your grave, 
then something can be done. So life, it's not really hard. Think about it, right? The third belief that we have is that I'm too old. I'm too old or I'm too young or I'm just not ready. You can never be ready. There are situations in your life, whether it's parenthood, whether it's growing up, whether it's have to take responsibility. You were never ready for that. But now it's the best in your life. It's the best situation that's going on. You know, it's the best time of your life. But you were never ready for that. Life had to force you to move, right? So you were never old. You are never old. You are never young. The sooner the better, actually. The sooner the better. But even KFC itself was started by the founder. I mean, he was 65 or 55 years, if I'm not mistaken. Imagine. KFC is the biggest, one of the biggest restaurants right now. One of the biggest fast food selling um, restaurants right now. And he started it at the age of 55 or 65. So was he too old? If he had that mentality, was he even going to start KFC in the first place? Was he even going to do it? I don't think so. Not really. Right? Um, obviously, um, that was our third belief. Our fourth belief, if others are better than me. <sighs> if you want to um, not move in life, compare yourself. That's the worst thing you can ever do for your soul, for your spirit, for yourself, for your health, for your wealth, for everything. Don't compare yourself. We each have different journeys. We each learn in different ways. We each become better people in different ways. So don't compare yourself. Others are better than me. That's the fourth limiting belief. So if somebody succeeds, he's like, yeah, he's better than me. He can do it. I can't. Nah, -uh, you can. Not right? Nobody is better than you. We all have this gift from God. We all created in his image. Or the universe, whatever you believe, Allah, whatever you believe, we're all created for good things, right? And for best things in life, okay? And the other belief that we have is that I cannot learn anything. I cannot learn something new, right? And think about it. Where does it come from? It comes from, from our um, educational system, right? Um, they told you that all you have to do is get a degree, get a diploma, whatever you get, and then go work. Little did they tell us that life starts actually after your school system. Life actually starts there. When you have a degree, you know this thing, but there's no job. You're not hired. So this is when you have to step up now. Take what you know. Take what you have learned and imply it. Right? You can learn. What I've noticed or what I've learned through my webinars and my mentors is that um, wealthy people, the most wealthy people, the number one value that they have, it's constant, continuous growing and learning. Constant. You don't stop for nobody. You don't stop for anything. If every day you can learn something new, in a year you have learned 365 some things that you didn't know about. 365 new things that you never knew about. You become a better version of yourself. You start making um, um, better decisions, you know. Um, yes, there's another belief. The another one, another belief that we have, which is kind of um, um, personal to me, or which is kind of um, how can I put it, very hurting or something like that, which keeps our community and our environment so sucked up in this bubble, is that all men are pigs, or all women are gold diggers, right? If you had or if you experienced that kind of relationship or that kind of partner, right? First of all, stop blaming other people for your responsibilities. That's it, right? It's your responsibility. Do this. Focus on you. You'll be amazed of what you attract. Focus on you. Become healthier, you know? Look after yourself, right? And then everything else will fall into place. They will find you, right? They will find you. You can't look for a man who goes to a gym and you don't even gym. Where do you expect to find a man that does gym? Because the only way you find a man who gyms is when you gym and you meet where? At the gym. <laughs> so you have something in common. So your values are kind of balanced, you know? So yes, all men are not pigs. All women are not gold diggers. Focus on you. Fix you first. Then everything will fall into place. Fix you first. Then you will find the right person. Right? Yes. The other belief that we have is that work is not meant to be enjoyed. I enjoy 
work, right? Wherever I've been employed over, well, I'm 30 years old and I've been employed over 10 companies. I've worked, believe you me, I've worked, you know, every single time I've worked, I enjoyed myself. You know why? Because it might be my last job, right? You know why? Because I had something to learn there. I had different people to connect with. I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Obviously, sometimes there are hardships where you have to wake up. I nah, don't want to go to work today. Nah, I don't feel like it. I'm going to call in my manager, you know. I'm going to send an email and SMS and say, sorry, I can't. I'm sick, whatever. But enjoy your work. Enjoy it. Because that's how you will learn. That's how you will grow. And if you're a person like me who's into sales, that's how you make money. By enjoying your life, that's how you make money. That's how you attract money. You know, you enjoy your clients. You enjoy the process. Not only do you enjoy the results, but the process as well. Get to know other people out there. How other people believe, right? So enjoy your work. Make sure. Make sure that you do enjoy your work. Make sure that you enjoy the process. Make sure that, um, um, how can I put it? When you get there, you do your best, right? Because... It might be the last best that you do. You know what they say? Life is too short, you know? And they say, what, YOLO, you only live once. I say, you only die once and you live every day. Every day, when you wake up in the morning, it's a brand new day. Something different can happen. Out of five years when you're struggling with your business, that one day you can wake up in your business, booms. Right? It's the process. Enjoy it. Enjoy your job. Enjoy what you do for a living. Because you wake up and do it anyway. Sometimes you spend eight hours of your day there. Nine hours, right? Sometimes you expect those people to pay you month end. Or weekly or daily. Whatever the reason might be. So just enjoy the process. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, I usually say enjoy it while it lasts. Because it will never last. Nothing in life lasts. Even you yourself. We will get out of here. Out of this world. We'll never get out of here walking. We're going to get out of here. In the grave. It's just how it is, right? Um, another belief that I would like to talk about um, is this belief that, you know, as people, we intend to, how can I put it, um, um, say this thing of, well, mostly poor people or middle class um, say, I have no money. I have no capital. So I have nothing to start. I have, you know, I, that's why I, can ma I can't make money because I don't have money. It's not a money issue. The lack of money is never, ever, ever, get into to your mindset. It's never, ever an issue. The lack of mindset, the lack of vision, the lack of dream, that's the problem, right? How many people do you know that had nothing, grew up from nothing and went to riches, became wealthy, became number one in the world, whether it's entertainment, business, an author, or whatever the reason might be, but they came from nothing. It's because they had a dream, they had a vision, they had the mindset, they had to learn. Obviously, not growing up with that mindset because you're not, you, didn't ra you were not raised by wealthy people. You had to learn how wealthy people think. You had to learn how wealthy people um, um, think and, and how they control their thoughts and their feelings, right? Because everything is made out of energy. Everything. As I talk to you now, through this thing, it's energy. Right? For you to see me, for you to like this page and subscribe right now, which I would suggest that you do, it's energy. Energy flows, right? Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It flows. That's just how it is. That's how the universe was created. So those are my beliefs. Um, so far, I mean, if you found value in this and um, let me know what your beliefs are. Let me know what your beliefs are. On the comment section, let me know. What belief is stopping you from reaching your goal? What belief is stopping you from getting out there and making yourself worth it and making, you know, enjoying life? What belief is there, right? Thank you very much. And so um, I want to come to another belief, right? Um, this belief, again, it's, 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 how can I put it? Um, it's the reason why we, we don't go for riches or the reason why we don't go for wealth, right? Is because rich people are bad. Rich people are evil. No. That's a limiting belief. Think about it. If you think rich people are bad or evil, do you think you're going to be rich yourself? Never. If you see your dream car passing by, love it. You know? If you have to greet that person, you don't know them, but hi. <laughs> That's me one day. 
that you, I'll be driving that thing one day. Even if, let me say they're in a parking lot, you know, they walk into their car. Go to them. Sir, ma'am, how are you? Thank you. I would like to know what you do for a living. Look, I love your car. You know, I love your car. How does it feel? How does it ride? You know what I mean? And if it means, some people, let me tell you, wealthy people are so friendly, right? Because they've been poor, some of them, at some point. Wealthy people are so friendly, some of them will let you even sit in the car seat. Not drive, obviously, right there in the parking lot, but just sit in it and ask them, can I just sit in it? Because this is my dream car, right? I want to know how it feels. I want to know how to get there, right? I want to feel it. And with feeling, with thoughts comes feeling and then comes action and then your results follow. So yes, those are my beliefs. So let me know in a comment, what are your beliefs and like um, this video, hit the subscribe button not to miss content. Um, I thank you for your time because time is valuable. And yeah, man, this is Tip My Circle from Tip My Circle International. I wish you all the best and let's change our beliefs. Let's learn other beliefs. Let's um, uninstall the weeds that we were given, right? Because think about it, the same belief that you have is probably the same belief that your mother or father has or whoever put you up, your sister, your brother, whoever had an influence, the community, the uni um, um, environment that you grew up in has the same belief. It's because it's not your own belief. It's a belief that you picked up while growing up. It's a belief that you picked up while coming up. So let's change your belief. Let's learn to control our beliefs. Let's learn to use our beliefs in our favor, right? Because it's not about what you believe in. It's about the belief itself. If somebody believes that I'm going to make it with education and the other one believes I'm going to make it with business, the business one will make it and the educational one will make it. It's not about what you believe in. It's about the belief itself. Right? Thank you very much. Um, see you in the next video. Yep. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.